Hey everyone, just picked a couple more zucchinis out of the garden. So here's what I'm going to do with them today. I'm going to cut those up and put them in the crock pot with some mushrooms, that eggplant there, and then I'm going to put some lean ground beef and some spaghetti sauce in there with it. All right, let me cut the eggplant and the zucchinis up and then I'll get back to you. If you've never had eggplant before, that's what the inside of eggplant looks like. And it, it's got the purple skin on the outside. Now some people, you know, take the skin off, but I'm going to leave it on just because I don't mind the taste of the skin and it has more vitamins that way. So I'm going to finish cutting this up and I'll bring you guys back in a minute. Okay, I got my two zucchinis and my eggplant all cut up in there. And now I'm going to put in these, this 8 ounce package of sliced mushrooms. Okay, so basically that, all those vegetables are mainly water. So I'm going to put in this 93% um, lean, 7% fat ground beef. I like this lean ground beef because I don't have to drain it and it won't be greasy that way. So I'm going to cut this open and put that in there and then I'll bring you guys back and show you what else I'm going to add. Okay, I'm going to season that with a little bit of kosher salt. Okay, that's probably good. I'm also going to use a little bit of onion powder. I like onion powder. You can use whatever spices you like, but onion powder is one of my favorite ones. All right, that's probably good. And then I'm going to put this can of spaghetti sauce. This is Hunt's but uh, you can use whatever kind you like. And I actually was going to put two cans of spaghetti sauce, but I didn't have to, so have to improvise a little. I'm just going to put a can of tomato sauce in there. That should work fine. All right. Now, I'm just going to turn this to high. And we'll get the lid on there. And I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I'll come back in, you know, hour or so when it starts cooking and stir it up a little more. All right. We'll just let that cook for a while. All right. So I let that cook for about five hours on high. And I just shut it off. I did open it a few times along the way and add a few seasonings. I added a little bit of a um, little bit more salt and onion powder and I added a cup of water just to thin it down a little bit. I added a couple spoonfuls of sugar because I like my sauce a little bit sweeter than it was and sprinkled in a little bit of red uh, crushed garlic or red pepper flake just for a little heat. And um, yeah, I think it tastes pretty good. I, to be honest, that's the first time I've done this with the um, eggplant in it, and I didn't really know if, how it was going to turn out. When I tasted it along the way, I really didn't know if I liked it that well. But now that it's all cooked down, I, it actually tastes pretty good. Um, so this is—it tastes a lot like spaghetti, but. Rather than noodles, you have your zucchini and your um, eggplant, you know, in place of the noodles. Um, and, you know, I, I personally, I'd rather have the noodles, but I'm on a heart healthy diet and, you know, it's healthier for me and lower calories. And my wife is on Weight Watchers, so, you know, she wants less points on things like that, too. And, you know, I think this actually turned out really good. I mean, this is one of my first uh, 
attempts of cooking zucchini in a crock pot like that. I did it one at a time without the eggplant and it was good that way. So if you don't like eggplant, you could just, you know, use all the other ingredients and leave out the eggplant. Um, yeah, I, I think this is a pretty tasty recipe actually. So um, thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.